Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical RP and myself Arnup Kondu. Today I will discuss another Python program and today's problem is that we take a number as input in Python and find out the number is Harshad number or not. The Harshad number is also known as Niven number. Okay. Now what is a Harshad number? We can say the number is a Harshad number when the number is divisible by the sum of the digits of that number then we can say this number is a Harshad number or Niven number. Okay. Now if we take an example, the number is 516, the number is 516. Now this number contain 5, 1 and 6, they are the digits of that number. Now if we sum up these three digits, 5 plus 1 plus 6, then it get 12. Now 5, 1, 6 divided 12, the division is possible means when a number is divisible by some of the digits of that number then we can say this number is a Harshad number or also we can say this is a Niven number. So go to the computer screen I will discuss elaborately how to quote and how to find out the Harshad number or Niven number in Python language. Okay. So friends, I am just in Python ID and today's problem is that to take a number as input in Python and find out the number is Harshad number or not. Okay. So to do this, at first we should know what is Harshad number. Another name is there is called Niven number. Okay. Now if we talk about what is Harshad number, then we can say the number we can say this number is a Harshad number. The number is divisible by the sum of the digits of that number. Then we can say the number is a Harshad number. Like 156. This 156 have three digits. 1, 5 and 6. If we add these three digits, we get 12. So 156 means 156 is divisible by 12. So we can say 156 is a Harshad number or Niven number. Okay. So I just write the code in PyCharm ID and find out that particular number is Harshad number or not according to the input. Okay. So at first we take a variable in equal and just write means we have take the input. So just write int and just write within the parentheses input because we know in Python whatever the take the input in form of string. So we need to convert it into integer for particular program is concerned. So just write within the input, within the parentheses, within double quote, just write enter the number, okay, and put a colon. And after that, we take another variable s and put some value as initialize is zero. And also take another variable r, also put some value as initialize value as zero, means at the initial value for s and r, both are zero. And take another variable t which is just to the number which is take as input within the variable n. So just write t equal to n. Okay. Now we just write the loop and here I am using the while loop. So check while and just check what t greater than 0 and put a colon and just write the statement for that while loop is concerned. At first we find out the remainder of that number because we find out the each and every digits of the particular number is concerned. So just write r equal t percent 10. So percent is we find out the remainder. Okay. And then we add within the s variable means s variable store the sum of the digits. So just write s equal s plus r means it just add each and every digits and store within the variable s. And then we just write to find out the quotient. So just write t equal t flow division operator 10. Now this double slash indicates the flow division operator means it just find out the quotient of that number in an integer format means it just 
round down the number to the nearest integer means nearest whole number okay the number is Herschel number or not or Niven number or not that's why we write if and just check what n whatever the number we are already take as input within the variable n and now we just check the number is divisible by the sum of the digits of the number or not so in that case we just write n percent s equal equal 0 that means the number is n and s stored the sum of the digits if their remainder is 0 that means it's a divisible so put a colon and just write here print and just within double quote just write slash n percent d is a harshad number put a dot and after end of this double quote just write percent n okay and similar way we put the else part because if the number is not harshad number or niven number it should print okay so in that case we will just write print within double quote same way just write slash n percent d is not a harshad number put a dot end of this double quote and then write percent n okay so the program whatever we write in a python just store within the file harshad.py we already know the python extension is .py so we just run that code so just go to the run button and just run harshad okay so this is the console enter the number so at first we put the number for harshad number is concerned just write 156 and press enter yes 156 is a harshad number okay again if we run that code for another number is concerned suppose we put here number 481 and press enter yes 481 is also a harshad number because 481 if we add these digits we get 30 481 is divisible by 30 so here we, we just put the input 481 and the summation of the digit is 13 so if we just divide 481 divide 13 is divisible okay now if you take a different number which is not Hertzert suppose we put the number 105 yes 105 is not a Hertzert number because 1 plus 0 plus 5 is 6 so 105 divided 6 is not possible because it's not divisible by 6 so I hope you have understood today's problem because today's problem is that the number is a Herschel number or Niven number or not and how it find out the number is divisible by the sum of the digits of that number then we can say the number is a Herschel number or another name is there also known as Niven number okay I hope you have understood today's topic for more videos keep watching my channel technical arcoin and also write the comment section for any queries or any doubts or any different topic is concerned so keep watching my channel if you still not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel like this video share it so today bye bye